We've just seen Western Fort, the elusive fort, put it together going the 1900 metre trip and he went down to the post forward moving and he's a horse who'd obviously come on tons from that introduction. Yeah, he was drawn quite wide first time out, which told the work rider just to drop him in and the pace was so fast that he ended up the book says 16 lengths. I think it was more than that. He was way out of his ground and um, he ran on quite nicely. Uh, his whole family stay well, so shouldn't be, he shouldn't have had a stamina uh, doubt and he won a nice race. Your runner coming up, you got one runner left. How did he travel? He travelled well. They all travelled well. I think the filly in the first was very unlucky. She got taken out at the top of the straight and ran on quite nicely. She was very unlucky. Um, the next one ran third and this one won, so they seem to have travelled down well. And please God, Battle of Elysia can give a big shout. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good ride by Warren. Um, he's quite green and he got stuck into him and worked all the way to the line, so well done to him. Uh, Uncle Jay and, and Joel, well done to you and the Hyper Paint Syndicate. Super. Thank you. Winning rider Warren Kennedy in the Hyper Paint, red and white silks coming to the fore. Now, this is a type of horse that you didn't know much about. There was some good support down to the start, forward moving, but in the race, you had to work. Yeah, uh, you know, I got a bit of confidence in the ring from, from Tony, um, and Mr. Peter phoned me, and he, and he gave me a bit of confidence as well. So, you know, she went down lovely. I thought, well, okay, they, they know what they're talking about, Jay. And, but in the race, she, she was so green, he was completely lost. Thank goodness they didn't go really hard. But I was at him the whole way, Sheldon, and for the horse to, to still see that out and then pick it up and win the way he did, it was actually a very good win. You can only improve and get a lot better from you. Now, going back to Dancing Feather and Elixion, they ran decent races. Take us through it. Yeah, look, um, Elixion, like I said to you in the preview, if very he's not green. too green, and he was extremely green. He hit the front, his head came up, they got to him very easily and, and put him on the back foot from about the 400. And uh, he's probably also just looking for a little bit more ground too as well. So he was just very green in the running. That's what I thought might happen. I was a bit afraid of. But um, yeah, and Dancing Feather, you know, she the drop to the 14, not ideal, but I, I still thought she was good enough to pull it off. She was in the perfect position. I made the challenge. The horse shifted out onto me a little bit. And from there, she was always very aware of it and didn't really want to really mean to go past him. So a bit of inexperience on her side that uh, probably cost her, not so winning, but probably cost her second place. She'll be back to fights another day, but you back in the winner's box, and that's what counts. Yeah, definitely happy to be. Um, yeah, unfortunate that those two, those very short ones, got, got beat. Uh, sorry to everyone out there. That, that's racing. Yeah, that, that, those things happen, but they have got their excuses, and they will bounce back those horses, definitely. Well done. Thanks very much. There we have Warren Kennedy, and then the winning groom, Mpati and Lumber. Haley Joseph's going to step across there and give the 1,000 rand token. So a courtesy of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle, winning groom Mpati and Lumber gets the 1,000 rand token. There's the all clear out. Away they go from the 1900 metre marker. Bit of scrimmaging on the right hand side. Twice the flights there have another. Twice Golden. Let's see if it will settle with those blinkers. That's at the rail. Going around them is Ice Baron with the red cap. And further back, Western Fort in the red silks. Then Royal Pursuit. Side swipes about seven or eight lengths off them with Stunning Guest. And Jax is one of the trailers. So Ice Baron's going around to join Have Another as they move towards that 1300 metre region. Twice Golden's out the rail third and Western Fort in the red silks. Further back in the run on the outside, twice the flight, then comes Side Swipe, racing about seven lengths off the leader. Royal Pursuit is further back in the run, then comes Proud Warrior. Jackson Stunning Guest, the last two, and they're about nine or ten lengths off the leader. 900 metres to go, have another, controls the pace. Ice Baron, the red cap, twice Golden's out the rail third. Western Forts in the red silks, just getting a bit of a niggle. Further back in the field is side swipe, and then twice the flight. Proud Warriors further back, then Royal Pursuit. Jackson stunning guess, the last two, about eight or nine off the lead. 
Got to come into that home stretch and have another the leader. Ice Baron's about to make a move. Western Fort's now being asked to run. Twice Golden's out the rail. Twice the flight comes around them. Then comes Side Swipe and behind that Royal Pursuit. Top of the lane and Ice Baron makes the early move for home. Western Fort's on the outside. Twice Golden's trying to try and get into the race. Twice the flight on the outside. Ice Baron, Western Fort, twice the flight. And twice Golden's now getting to them all. Twice Twice Golden comes forward to Western Fort over the last hundred. Western Fort and Twice Golden, they eyeball to eyeball. Western Fort, Twice Golden, but that's Western Fort. Twice Golden second, third will go to Twice the Flight and then Ice Baron.